Okay, uh, so let's get started. I'm Otsuka Motohiro. I was core developer of OpenStack Mag. I was open uh, the core developer of OpenStack Magnum project, which is known as Kubernetes as a service on OpenStack. So I have some skill set to deploy Kubernetes, right? <laughs> First, I'll explain about Kubernetes. Maybe you already know about what is Kubernetes. Yes, Kubernetes is known as container orchestration engine, which is open source platform designed to automate deploying, scaling, and operating application containers. And important, important thing is that Kubernetes is also application which run on top of containers. Uh, so one question from us, how do you deploy Kubernetes? Uh, uh, there are a lot of tools, uh, Ansible, or Chef, Puppet, or Bosch. Yes, it's a very common tool to deploy and manage application. And also, we know some tools which support Kubernetes deployment. These tools are operating and managing Kubernetes, not only deployment, but I think why we need another tool to deploy or manage Kubernetes? Yes, actually deploying Kubernetes is very complicated and difficult to manage. <coughs> But please see this slide again. Kubernetes is designed to automate deploying, scaling, and operating application containers. And Kubernetes is application which runs on top of containers. So is there any reason to avoid to use Kubernetes to deploy itself? Right? <laughs> so Kubernetes community is already trying this challenge, so-called self-hosted Kubernetes. If this challenge is completed su successfully, we need no more another tool to manage Kubernetes. Yeah. This is architecture of self-hosted Kubernetes. Almost Kubernetes components are run on top of Kubernetes, Kubernetes as Kubernetes resources, such as the de demo sets, deployments, so except for Kubernetes and etcd. To run Kubernetes and etcd is a bit difficult and challenging to deploy production, production environment. Uh, but yes, maybe you have a question. <laughs> How to bootstrap Kubernetes? Yeah. The problem is that Kubernetes is needed to start Kubernetes. So self-hosted Kubernetes only needs the tools which support to bootstrap Kubernetes. I'll explain that tool, how should be worked. Self-hosted Kubernetes needs manifests which describes itself, such as certificates, systemd unit, and Kubernetes manifests. So tool should generate these assets. And if these assets are generated, we can start essential component called Kubernetes. Kubernetes is responsible for running containers. If Kubernetes is working, we can start pod. Then etosd which is used as Kubernetes backing store, has started as a static pod. And if Kubernetes and ETHOCD are working, we can start temporary bootstrap Kubernetes control plane. This bootstrap Kubernetes control plane is responsible for starting the complete Kubernetes cluster and is running temporary. So if bootstrap Kubernetes control plane is working, 
we can create complete Kubernetes as, as Kubernetes resources. And uh, these uh, complete Kubernetes manifests are uh, created by temporary bootstrap Kubernetes. And next, unnecessary bootstrap Kubernetes control plan is removed when the complete Kubernetes cluster is working. Yeah, that's all. If the complete Kubernetes cluster is working, we need no more other tool to manage Kubernetes. We can upgrade Kubernetes cluster using Kubernetes API using deployment, and we can correct Kubernetes component logs through Kubernetes API, and we can replace Kubernetes nodes using Kubernetes API. So, let's say Kubernetes deployment tool comparison again. <laughs> yeah. And there are many options to deploy Kubernetes already, I said. But the hosted ready tools are limited. And bottom line, as for now, uh, as for now, the hosted ready tool is Tectonic, Kubernetes, Remora. Sorry. <laughs> Tectonic is a Kubernetes incubator project developed by CoreOS mainly. CoreOS is active developer in Kubernetes, and there mm -hmm. are introduced notion of self-hosted Kubernetes deployment. And Kubernetes is an official tool for deploying Kubernetes. This tool has self-hosted deployment feature, but it is out for feature currently. Adam developer plan self-hosted deployment as default in v1.9, its next version. And, and last, Remora. Remora is deployment to uh, support self-hosted. It is developed by us mainly. <laughs> now, under heavy developments, its goal is to make Kubernetes deployment to with OpenStack native support. So, benefits of self-hosted Kubernetes cluster. Uh, first, no more other deploying tools needed. To, to deploy Kubernetes, we need Kubernetes only. It's very simple. Next, Kubernetes manage Kubernetes lifecycle itself, operations, scale out, upgrade, etc. So, wrap up this writing talks. It's very simple. Say hosted style development will become new standard way to install Kubernetes cluster. <laughs> First, say hosted deployment has big benefits, as well as several tools support say hosted deployment, Tectonic, Kubernetes, Remora, but both self hosted and OpenStack supported tool is limited. We should deploy Kubernetes with say hosted for happy hour Kubernetes drive. So we recommend to use Remora and make it easy to deploy Kubernetes on OpenStack. And see also, uh, here is the URL for each tools. Okay, that's all. Thanks, everything.